never had a girl like you. Oh, when we locked up, when you pass, couldn't look away. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are subscribed, welcome back. If you're not, hopefully by the end of this video, that will change and you will decide to press that button down below. Today we are doing a few things. We are going to first be doing our daily cash stuffing. So I'm going to be stuffing my daily cash envelopes for the next week. I'm also going to go through all of my sinking funds and tell you guys like what they're for, kind of explain them a little bit because I did get a question asking if I could do that. Last thing I'm going to do, or the second to the last thing I'm going to do is stuff my savings challenge. And then we are going to announce our giveaway winners. And this is for our 1K subscriber giveaway. Okay, our 1K subscriber giveaway okay <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started we have a lot to do and i'm gonna try to make this quick so first we are going to stuff our um our daily cash envelopes and these are the envelopes i carry around with me throughout the week i carry them in my bag and you can find all of these envelopes on my Etsy shop. So the first thing we're gonna do is our food and snacks and that is technically our groceries. I'm gonna put this here. That is gonna be our groceries. So we have four 20s, one, two, three, four, um, a 10 and two fives. We are stuffing a total of 190, I think it was. I forget y'all, don't mind me. Uh, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95 and 100. I have not completed my grocery order just yet. I'm still trying to decide what we're going to eat next week. So when I do complete it, I will take the money out and replenish my credit card. Next is going to be our miscellaneous and that's going to get two tens and two twenties for a total of 30. So we have 10, 20, 25 and 30. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm already trying to go get some crabs today. But it, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Transportation or gas is going to get 25 and that's just going to be a 20 and a 5. I do need to fill up soon. So hopefully this will be enough until I get paid. I don't want to have to put any more money in my tank if i just stick to work and home <laughs> i should be fine dining or eating out is going to get 25 as well so that'll just be a 20 and a 5 and there we go here and then our self-care last but not least is going to be our um, or it's going to get $10, sorry. So self-care is getting 10 And I don't necessarily have specific items I need to get. My nails have all broken, like the gel has come off. And I'm at the point now where I don't feel like getting them done again. Like I just got my nails done. And then before then, when I had just gotten them done, they broke that same time as well. So... I'm at the point now where I'm like, I should really do them myself, but I don't really feel like it. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go ahead and stuff our, um, our savings challenge. Okay, so the only challenge that I'm going to be stuffing for this week is going to be the Save With Baddie challenge. All the other challenges I do are generally bi-weekly. So for week seven, I'm not even sure if she's on week seven yet, <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead because I am I have already decided that I'm going to do the maximum or try to do the maximum for each week with just $10. So I'm just going to go ahead and color that in. And surprisingly, we have some rollover money, which is $10. So that'll work. I have $10 in my rollover money, two fives. So I am just going to use these two fives for the Save With Baddie challenge. And if you don't know what that is, it is a challenge from Oh My Fro Budget um, here on YouTube. And 
the challenge is for every 100 likes that her savings challenge video gets, uh, we will save a dollar. So if she gets a thousand likes on that savings challenge video, we'll save ten dollars. So the max obviously is going to be ten dollars. As you can see, it only goes up to ten. So I'm trying to do the max. So today is the 21st. I'm going to add ten. We should be at sixty-six dollars. And if you're wondering, these are my um, my cash trackers that will be live on my shop very very soon. Um, I said this last time, but hopefully this time, by the time I post the video, they will be live. All I have to do is just, you know, finish my listing on Etsy. But let's go ahead and count what we have. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 66. So we have $66 for our challenge. Um, I don't know. I said I was going to do something with this money yesterday, and I completely forgot what I said. So... I'm sure it'll come back to me when I least expect it. All right. So, so like I mentioned, um, someone asked if I could just kind of walk through and explain what my sinking funds and my envelopes are for and like their goals because I do have a lot of new subscribers. So I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you to the person who kind of reminded me to do that. I always told myself I need to like give an update for my new subscribers and I always forget. So I'm so sorry, but I'm going to do that today for you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through my daily cash envelopes. And um, if you don't know, I split all of my daily cash envelopes in half because I am a bi-weekly budgeter. So I will, what I will do is I'll take this with me and then I'll put the rest in this binder and then I'll leave this at home, take this with me, you know, on the go. And they both are like the same types of envelopes. So here I have groceries, I have, um, I have miscellaneous, I have gas, I have eat out, and then I have self-care. Self-care is the only thing that has a cash tracker in there because I kind of try to use self-care as a sinking fund and a daily cash envelope as well. And you'll kind of see more of that when I do my cash stuffing for next Friday. This is my bank deposit envelope um, for my credit card. So when I spend money on my credit card, I put the money from my, I unstuff my sinking funds and I put the money in here and then I, you know, go deposit it later into the bank and then pay my credit card bill. This is my ties envelope. This is a new envelope that I had. I kind of had this label already sitting around, but I decided to use it because when I get paid from Etsy, I usually have the money in cash and then I need to pay my ties from Etsy. So I need to deposit that back into the bank and I don't like to get that mixed up with, um, I don't like to get that mixed up with this money. So I like to keep it separate. And tithes is just minimum 10% of my earnings that I'm giving back to God and his church and his people. This envelope is another bank deposit envelope. This is for, you know, if I want to deposit money back into my other bank account, which is, you know, completely separate from um, this bank account. So there's two different bank accounts that I have. And then this MasterCard envelope is for my city card. Again, I like to keep those envelopes separate. Even if I make the deposit um, under one full, like even if I make one full deposit, I still have, you know, the amount that I know needs to go into city, the amount that I know needs to go into ties, and the amount that I know needs to go into my other credit card. So that's that. This here is my side income envelope. And when I get paid from Etsy, um, side hustles, hopefully YouTube next month, all the money after I put all my money towards ties, taxes, business, retirement, and savings, the rest of that money goes into side income. I'm trying to save up towards a minimum of $100 in this envelope, and then I plan to stuff it into my sinking funds. The goal for me was just to see how much I could earn, to see if it's worth the side hustles, um to see you know just to see the bigger picture instead of me putting like two dollars you know here and three dollars there i wanted to build it up to like a larger amount and then stuff it so that's that for this first binder and i know it may seem like i have a lot of binders guys but there's a method to my madness <laughs> this is my 
first sinking sponge binder. So this is my car envelope. Um, this is for car maintenance. You know, if I need to get a car wash, if I run out of gas, um, or if I run out of gas money in my gas envelope. Um, but mostly for like repairs, um, deductibles and things like that. And the goal here is $1,000. I want to reach 500 by the end of the year. And then starting next year, I will go up to 1000 Licenses is for my career and my profession. So I am a pharmacist and I have to maintain my license. I have to renew my license every two years. I am also a part of a membership organization for my profession and the organization membership fee is like $330 every year. So coming up in December, I will have to pay $335. So my goal for right now is $335 for the end of the year. I'm at $235 now, so I only need to add $100 by December. And then after that, I will be saving money towards um, renewing my license. And renewing my license is about, I wanna say $260 to $300. So that is done every two years. My membership fee is 330 every year. And um, I also use this money or this envelope to pay for an exam that I had to take for certification. So hopefully I passed. That way I can get that money back or at least it was worth it. My pets envelope is for my dog. I might insert a picture here. Um, so my husband and I, we both have four dogs together. One of them um, I purchased, so I take financial care of like her vet appointments and food and stuff like that. Um, and then we kind of share a little bit the responsibility of, of the rest of them. Um, but I take primary care of the little, the little one. So that's what this envelope is for. And actually my dog has a vet appointment coming up this weekend. So this will probably be depleted because they love busting heads with them prices. <laughs> vacation is self-explanatory. I had a few vacations this year and I have one more the end of this year in December and I have another one in May. So that's what we're saving up towards for that. For vacation, um, I try to come up with a, a price or an amount of how much I want to have by a certain date. Now the date may not be the date of the vacation. It may be the date that the money is due or that the balance is due or something like that. And then I just divide it by how many paychecks I get and tell myself I need to put such and such amount towards um, my vacation envelope each paycheck. And I typically do this for all of the envelopes that I have that I want to have a certain money, a certain amount of money by on a certain date. So if I wanna have my car envelope at 500 by December, I already I have to calculate how much money I need to add each paycheck to reach that goal. Hubby is for my husband. This is for anything I purchase for him or if I take him on a date or things like that. I don't have a date night envelope because he's the only person I'm going on a date with. So I just use the hubby envelope. Um, if I buy him a gift for his birthday, I'll use this. If I buy him um, dinner if he asks me to pick up some you know snacks for him or something I'll take it out of this envelope household is things that we need for our home so things like um, let's see utensils uh, or silverware um, or if I want to get like a crock pot or you know organization things for our house something like that Sometimes, originally, I was using this envelope for household um, items such as like dish detergent, laundry detergents, things like that. I don't necessarily do that anymore, but because um, it usually comes out of my Sam's Club envelope. So that's what this is for. I don't really have a goal for this. It's just to kind of save as much as I need. Gifts envelope is empty and it is for buying gifts for people, for um, events. Um, for birthdays, special engagements, things like that. Shopping is for me to go and buy things that I don't necessarily need. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it's empty. And there's a reason for that because I'm always buying something I don't need. Um, but actually, I need to get some clothes. Like, So shopping is also for like clothes, shoes, you know, 
things like that. So I need to get some clothes. I need to get a jacket. I need to get some shoes for work. So I'm going to be adding some money towards this on my next cash stuffing. Business is for my Etsy business um, and any other side hustles that I'm doing, but mostly for Etsy to buy supplies, um, you know, and pay for fees and things like that. Most of the money that I make from my Etsy goes into this envelope. I don't take, I don't usually take a lot of my personal money and put it into this envelope. I try to just stuff this with the money I make from my side hustles. Taxes is going to be um, the taxes that I'll have to pay at the end of the year or well next year for um, my side hustles. So for Etsy, for example, and YouTube, when I do start getting paid from YouTube, I'm claiming it um, for Etsy specifically they do not take taxes out of your um paycheck like when they do deposit the money into your account they don't take out taxes so you have to do that on the back end same for youtube they do not take out taxes so you have to do that on your end so that's what this is for i typically do 20 percent of whatever i make from etsy or my side hustles it probably should be a little more but that's what i'm going to start at right now again there's no goal for this um I'm at 164 right now, so yeah. Um, but, uh, for business, there's no goal, obviously. Shopping, there's no goal. Gifts, there's no goal. Household, there's no goal. Hubby is no goal. Like, a lot of these have no goals. Um, you know, I just want to save and constantly keep saving because I'm always constantly taking money out. As you can see, a lot of them are empty. Emergency fund is um, going to be for, in the event, God forbid that I lose my income or I have a pause or a break in my income or, you know, hopefully if I get pregnant and I go on maternity leave and I'm on this short term disability or something like that. If I want to stay home with my child a little longer, you know, that you don't get fully paid if you go on like short term disability, you won't get your full paycheck. So emergency fund is to cover um, things like that. So in the event that I do not get a paycheck, it will cover my bills, my rent, you know, and other things. Mostly my bills. My goal here is to have $1,000 by the end of the year. And then once I reach 1000 I want to go towards three months of my expenses and then six months of my expenses. And then ultimately, my goal is to have a year of expenses worth in this envelope. So that's where we are right now. If something were to happen, like if I were to move to another state, like I said, I am a pharmacist. You have to have be you have to be licensed in every single state independently. So I would have to go through the process of getting licensed and finding a new job if I move to another state. So in the meantime, I would still have money to pay the bills, and that's what this is for. Um, we are at seventy dollars right now. I'm not too worried because we are doing our twenty six week challenge that will be done in December, and that's where this is this money is going to go. So. I'm going to use that money to fund this emergency fund up to $1,000 and then use the rest probably for vacation. My savings envelope is just for savings. Um, this is for, it's not like an emergency fund. It's something that shouldn't really be touched. Um, this is for something that I may want to invest um, my, into my future. So if I want to buy a house or if I want to buy a business or, you know, things like that, investing in myself or in my future or my kids future this is what that money is for no i do not have any kids right now but that obviously is the plan at some point um but this is what this envelope is for of course there's no goal the sky is the limit okay um but right now we are at 566 dollars is this my only savings account no i do have a few savings accounts in my bank but you know honestly i feel like i'm way more um determined for this envelope one because i can actually see it and i can see it growing and you know things like that so that's this first binder or the first thinking funds binder the second one is going to be my other or i'm not gonna say like high priority low priority because they're kind of all mixed in but this is my part two of my sinking funds and you'll see wilson babies um wilson babies this is our last name but wilson babies is obviously to save up for the babies that we plan on having in the future in the near future 
And I just want to kind of get myself acclimated and comfortable with saving for them and putting money aside, um, kind of get me started on that process. And we have $30 in here right now. Obviously I have more higher priority things that need attention like today. So I'm not gonna be stacking a lot of money in this envelope because I have time to grow it. Car registration is to renew the tags on my car. I don't need to do, I got this envelope thinking that I had to get my registration in 2022, which is, I just wasn't thinking, but I don't actually need to renew my registration until 2023 in April. So I've only been putting like $3 here and there in this envelope. Right now we're at 39. Amazon Prime. I do have Amazon Prime, but I pay monthly for it. The goal for this envelope is to save up for the annual fee. So I'm planning to switch over to the annual fee for Amazon Prime just to save a few dollars and to not have to have it come out of my paycheck like out of my um out of my account every month. So, instead of just switching over to the annual fee and not having the money to give them, I am saving up for it and then that way I'll always be ahead of the game instead of trying to play catch up. So right now we're at 65 and I think the goal is like 100 and 38 or something like that whatever the amazon prime fee is that's what the goal is future home has the same idea as wilson babies we are planning to buy a home in the near future so i am just saving up for that process getting my mind again you know kind of acclimated to um that process family fun is um just doing fun things with any of my family members and my husband or whatever um, if we go to a pumpkin patch or if we go on vacation, I can take money out of here and use it. It's empty though. Um, <laughs> it kind of stays that way. Retirement is the money that I make from my side hustles. I do have a full-time job um, and I do pay into my retirement or my 403B at that job. So it goes directly into an account. This envelope is strictly for all the side hustles that I that I do. So whenever that money comes to me, I put it in this envelope. The goal is to um, put this money towards like the stock market and investing and things like that. Um, once this reach $100, I plan to do that. I think we only have like 40. Yeah, we have like $39 in there. My dang it envelope. <laughs> is for like miscellaneous unbudgeted items so say if i emptied out my groceries envelope and i overspent or something like that i'll take the money out of dang it or if it was something that i had to pay for that i wasn't expecting or i don't have an envelope for i'll take it out of dang it that way all of my bases are covered tech is for any tech items i need to get Phone accessories, computer accessories, you know, things for recording and stuff like that. That's where that money comes from. Medical um, is for any out-of-pocket medical expenses. For example, I went to urgent care um, a couple months ago and then I had to pay $200 in a copay. It wasn't covered. So I took that money out of my medical envelope and that's why it's empty. So for all of these, again, there's really no goal. Like I just want to just keep saving and keep saving. My parents' envelope is for my parents. <laughs> Big shocker there. Um, but this is to just kind of invest in my parents, give them money whenever I feel led to um, for their birthdays, for their anniversaries, for Christmas, things like that. Just kind of want to give back to my parents like they've given to me. And then my Mel's budget envelope is for YouTube. Right now we have a giveaway that we're gonna be closing out today. So that's where this money is gonna go for the giveaway. And then this last one is my Sam's Club envelope. I don't have the label yet cause I didn't do it yet and I keep forgetting, but I also kind of don't even wanna ruin the envelope. If you don't know, this is from Princess Budgets. Um, but I really don't even want to ruin it, to be honest, because it's so pretty. But this envelope is for Sam's Club. Obviously, the money that I have in my groceries envelope, it's for like immediate groceries. Sam's Club is for like stockpile things. So I just want to save money into this envelope and then I'll use it to buy things we need like dish detergent, dish soap, 
you know, bulky items of food and things like that. So I had like $60, $70 in here and I used $60 already. So that's kind of what the envelope is for. And then I'll save over, I'll save into it over time. And then I'll go back to Sam's Club when I feel the need. I don't need to go to Sam's Club every week. So I have time to save into it. All right. This next one is my holiday binder. And I designed this myself. And again, all of these plastic zipper envelopes and all of my binders um, are all created by me. So you'll find them on my Etsy shop. So the first thing we have is Thanksgiving. Originally, I was going to go to visit my parents. I do have to work Thanksgiving, but I was going to go like after work and see my parents. But I don't know if I'm going to go now. I still haven't decided, but that's where this money was going to go to. If I do not spend this Thanksgiving money, I will roll it over into Black Friday and Christmas. So this envelope um, is 150. The goal was only 100, but we used uh, money from a savings challenge and just put that money in there. Black Friday and Christmas is for specifically Black Friday. And we are buying, I typically try to buy people's Christmas gifts on Black Friday. That's when I used to be able to find it the cheapest. Nowadays, I don't really know. Like Black Friday deals aren't what they used to be. So but that's what this envelope is for. We are at 435. The goal was 500, but honestly, I think I need a little more because I also buy things for myself too. Christmas dinner, we are at uh, $40. And the goal for this envelope is I think 70. The idea was to um, pay for dinner, like to pay for the food to cook dinner. Last year, I did cook dinner at home with just me and my husband or my husband and I. But this year, we probably will go to uh, visit my parents, which is another reason why, like, I'm like, I don't really know if I want to go visit them twice. We'll see. I mean, of course, I want to go visit them twice, but does it make sense? I don't know. So if I end up not cooking dinner at home and we do go visit my family, um, I will just use this Christmas dinner envelope for, like, traveling to Christmas dinner. <laughs> so we'll use that for gas. Um, Christmas gifts is for buying Christmas gifts, obviously. <laughs> no, but it's for buying gifts after Black Friday. So after Black Friday has come and gone, if I, you know, remember, oh, hey, I need to go get this person a gift or hey, I think I want to get this person a gift. I'll use this envelope for that. And again, as these events come and go, I will roll them over. So if I don't use um, the money at Thanksgiving, I'll roll it to Black Friday. And if I don't use all the money for Black Friday, I'll roll it into Christmas gifts. Secret Santa is specifically for like um, those Secret Santa things that I do with my friends. So I may do a couple with my friends, with my cousins. Um, and then we're going to try to do one with our YouTube uh, creators. So our budget YouTube creators. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm going to try to create one as the time comes near. So I'm budgeting for that. I'm only budgeting um, or... Yeah, I'm only going to budget up to 150. I'm at 115 right now. Christmas tree is for all the decorations for my Christmas tree or if I had to replace it. I I think I got a new Christmas tree last year. I think I bought one last year or the year before last. And I definitely bought all new decorations last year. So the only thing I really may need is like a Christmas chop. Blah, blah, blah. The only thing I really may need is like a Christmas topper for the tree. So that's why my goal is only at $20 and we're at $15 already. Christmas decor is for all the other decorations um, for Christmas time. And I am still in between because we are renting a home. We're planning on moving hopefully within the next year or so and going into our own house. Our own house. I am still trying to decide if I want to go all out and decorate because then it's just going to be something we have to pack up within the next year or two or, you know, and then like if I buy decorations for this year, I'm going to have to use them again next year. And then the house that I'm in next year, I may not want to use them. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but the goal so far is $80. We'll see if we need that. Christmas miscellaneous is all the other extra stuff that happens for Christmas. So say if I'm invited to like a Christmas party, then I'll use this money to buy like, you know, a bottle of wine or something or potluck. Or if I want to buy, you know, gifts or decorations or something for work, then I'll take it out of this envelope. 
these envelopes I just made um, this week, honestly, because I added them as a new design to my holiday envelope listing. So if you're interested, go check them out. I I already had these um, designs, but I just added these this week. So that's why I have these in here because I'm like, well, I had to make them to take promo pics. So I might as well use them. So this one is New Year. Obviously, we're going to save for whatever New Year events we go to. If we go out to, you know, party or have a dinner at home or do whatever, that's what this envelope is for. And again, if I don't use the, all the Christmas money, I'll roll it over into New Year. Valentine's Day is exactly what it says. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to keep this because... Anything that I buy for my husband for Valentine's Day, it'll just come out of his, his, um, his, blah, blah, blah. anything I buy for my husband for Valentine's Day, it'll just come out of his hubby envelope. So I don't really know if I need this or not, but we will see. I might give it away. Who knows? Um, Juneteenth is obviously for Juneteenth. So yeah, I made this envelope for that. I don't necessarily have this design. This is the design I'll be selling on my Etsy shop. Um, this is just something dramatic I did for myself, but I do have this vinyl on my Etsy shop, but I don't have this design. Next one is Easter and we have the cute little bunny rabbits. So this is obviously to save for Easter. The only thing I really do on Easter is go to church. Um, and you know, we like to have a nice little outfit for church. So if I do go to church next year for Easter, I'll take this money and use it to buy a nice fit. So that's our holiday binder. And the last thing I have is what I'm going to call like my challenges binder. So this is a rollover envelope. All the money that I have that is rolled over from my cash envelopes, all the leftover money from my cash envelopes, like my groceries and eat out and gas, I put it in here in preparation for the next video to unstuff it and put it towards something. Like you just taught me, put it towards the um, Save With Baddie Challenge. Debt. This envelope is to put towards like Debt Snowball. Usually I only use this envelope if I'm doing a challenge to put towards debt. For my debt, I typically just transfer the money from my debit account into my credit card account. But if I'm doing a challenge to save towards debt, then I'll use this envelope. This is my $5 challenge. So all the fives that I have left over from my daily cash envelopes, like leftover money, I'll put here. And the same thing for my $1 challenge, I'll put here. And then I have my rewards challenge. So all the money that I earn from rewards points from my credit card points, um, from surveys, from Rakuten, things like that, I will put in this envelope just to see how much money I can save or just to see how much money I've earned and to prevent myself from just using like $25 to go buy something insignificant. The goal is to save it up to a bigger amount and then buy something more meaningful so the last time um or the first time i emptied this envelope was to have like a spa day i went and got a massage and stuff like that if i had not saved the money for this envelope i would not have been able to afford that and because i just kept stacking up the money i was able to afford it so that's that we're at a hundred dollars now this is our 26 week challenge envelope this is the challenge i am following i found this challenge on etsy and i am filling in these boxes and then just stuffing the money here in this envelope um the goal is to save 2021 dollars by the end of december and we started at the end of august so we are currently at 1219 dollars again like i said i am going to take this money and build my emergency fund up to a thousand dollars and the rest of it i'll probably put towards a vacation or something we'll see i haven't decided what i'm going to do with the rest of it or debt you know i don't know 
Um, you saw this one already. This is our saving with Betty challenge from the sheet I showed earlier. It says money challenge on there. Again, I created this design just for any challenges that I do. Once I'm done with the save with Betty challenge, if I decide to do another challenge, I'll put the money in here. Um, luxury challenge. So this is the sheet that I bought from Brianna Life and Budgets here on YouTube or Breezy's Budget Shop. You'll find her on Etsy. This is her luxury challenge, the treat yourself luxury challenge and every wallet equals $20. So you'll put $20 here. And then if you fill up this bonus purse for a hundred, you'll have a total of $900. So I've only done half of the purse. So I have $10. And again, I created this envelope myself, um, you know, just to kind of make it look luxurious but she also sells luxury envelopes to go with the challenge as well this is my melissa envelope and um this is a print that i bought and i just created the design i did have these on my etsy shop but they are sold out and because they didn't sell that well i'm probably not going to relist this design so guess it was just a one-time thing but this envelope is for my birthday specifically my birthday just passed in July so this is going to be for next July so I'm just going to save up a little bit of money you know and then when it's time to get my birthday nails my birthday hair my birthday makeup you know all that stuff I'll be prepared but I think that's it guys so next we're going to do our giveaway Okay, guys, so I want to thank everybody for entering the giveaway, but I really, really want to thank everybody for supporting my channel. You really don't have to, um, and you do anyway, so I'm so grateful for all of you for doing that. Um, all of you who subscribe, comment, you know, like, all of that, I'm so grateful for all of you, so thank you so much. For the giveaway, we had two prizes, and... I also have the money in here. I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to do that later. But the gift was you were going to get one of these um, J Square Collection wallets. These are genuine leather wallets. And um, they are handmade and black owned. These will each be stuffed with $25 in cash. I also decided to add some other goodies towards it as well. So I have my Christmas dinner buffalo plaid envelope design. I also have my July barbecue design. I have these 1K slips. One says I have how much? And then another says $1,000. And then I have two envelopes. One just says dining and one says spend um, in the rose gold um, foil. And then I have my other two products which are the cash trackers, one in blue or pastel blue foil and another in green foil. So the first winner was V&W Eats. Congratulations, you will win one of these designs or one of these options. And then the second winner was Amy. Congratulations to Amy as well. So the question that I asked was, what do you like about my channel or comment down below what you like about my channel? And I kind of, of course I wanted this to be to geared towards people who actually watch my videos and followed me along this journey so you would have to really know or watch me to see what the you know what you would like about my channel what keeps you coming back amy said i love watching your envelopes grow and i love how down to earth you are i also sing to your intro every time and interesting fact about my intro um one of my good friends harry gray is actually the person who wrote this song and is singing this song and he just let me use it like that's the pleasure and the great thing about having friends in high places so if you're interested in this song and you like the intro on this song all his information is down below he's on apple music um he's on all streaming platforms so you can always check him out um and v and w eats said what i like most about your channel is your positive vibe and energy given in every video so thank you so much sometimes i do not feel like i'm giving good energy in my videos so i am so grateful that you feel like i am <laughs> but thank you guys so much i really really appreciate you guys for following me along this journey the whole plan for me starting a youtube was to hold myself accountable and for you guys to hold me accountable if i had to show myself doing this on 
live camera in action, you know, I probably would be a little bit more careful with my finances versus me versus me just, you know, doing it by myself. So thank you guys for this, coming along with this journey with me. Um, I am so grateful for you guys, for you all. I have already reached out to the winner. I cannot talk today. Ugh. I have already reached out to the winners and they have um, up to 24 hours to contact me back. If not, I will be picking another winner. But I'm confident they'll get back to me um, and then they'll decide which ones they want to get. So again, thank you guys so much. Stay tuned because of course we are at like what 1.1k uh, subscribers. So of course we have another giveaway coming up at some point. I haven't decided when we're going to do that yet, but it will be coming. This is not the end. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed by now, hopefully you've decided to press that button down below. It really helps out my channel. But until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Hey. One out of respect. Just put your number in my phone and not the one you just gave me.